on a national level. Briefly define your <coughs> position on the necessity of the federal government to determine and protect programs such as Social Security and unemployment insurance. Thank you. You know, I wish I could stand up here and say unemployment insurance wasn't necessary, it wasn't needed. But we see, especially in economic times like this, it's needed more than ever. You know, it's needed as a way to make sure that people that have lost their job can continue to survive, can continue to pay for daily needs, to be able to put food on the table, pay rent, pay gas and electric. It, it's absolutely necessary in times like this, and I've supported it because it's what neighbors do for neighbors when things get tough. You know, when I think about Social Security, and, and some of you have, maybe have heard me tell the story before, I always think about my father, because my father always told a story about Social Security. He would say that, you know, he was proud to pay Social Security because he felt that that was his way to give back to his father, who had given so much to him. And he used to say to me, you know, and someday you'll pay it, and you'll give back to me. And he used to laugh, and he'd call me after he retired uh, at the first of the month, and he'd say, hey, keep working. I got my Social Security check. You know, we would laugh about it. But, you know, I felt, I understood what he was talking about. I understood what he meant. And he said, you know, the best part about that is someday your children will do that. You've earned it and they'll help you out. That's what Social Security is about. We can't privatize Social Security. If we privatize it, we risk in a bad economic time the situation where people will lose their benefits, where they will badly invest their money. It is the safety net. Social Security is one of the greatest programs that we created in this country, the great safety net. It's not intended to, to make anybody rich, but it's intended to create a safety net. And you know what? We have the largest number of Social Security recipients in our congressional district in New York State, 137,000 people. All right? It's necessary. It can't be privatized. It would be just devastating for those people that rely on it as a safety net. <clears throat> Thank you. Richard Hanna. The inference to privatizing Social Security is a direct reference to Mr. Arcuri's false and dishonest uh, idea that somehow I support privatizing. I do not. I have never. His commercials are a lie. Social Security is a miracle of this country. It is endangered by the very policies that cause the amount of debt that this country is incurring, not by anything I've ever said, nor would I change it from what it is. Social Security for the first year in history is broke this year. There is more money going out than coming in. 2016, that's true, in 2016 it will actually require the government to start paying back the debt that the government has borrowed away from it. 2037, it, that, that debt that the government owes will run out. The problem is that when it was devised, there were 34 to 1, then it, it just gradually worked its way down. There are too many people in the cart and not enough people pulling it today. We need to control our debt in order to guarantee that Social Security is safe going forward. I have never, nor will I ever, encourage it to be privatized. Uh, that is completely dishonest of you, Mike. You ought to stop those commercials. You're a liar. It's a liar. Yes, please be positive. Thank you. Anyone else? 